Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the case may be. Today, I'm going to take you through a program called Adobe Express. You're going to start out by going to Class Link by clicking your home button at the top, and then you should find Adobe Express somewhere in there that looks like this. You're going to open it up, and if this comes up, you can simply click Skip. Now, once you're in, if for some reason it is not logged in, it does not automatically log you in, just come up here and sign in with your Google account, all right? When you get to Adobe Express, this is the first page you'll see. It might change in the future because these things generally change, change as time goes by, but right now you see a whole bunch of big items, make a video, create a graphic, animate your voice, or build a web page. All of this is kind of fun to play with, including this new one, where you can make a drawing using their cool brushes, kind of like a whiteboard, okay? But what we're gonna do today is create a graphic. So there's many ways to do it. Obviously, this big button right here is the most obvious one. But if we come over here to the plus button, you can also click on create or quick actions. Create is you can decide what kind of graphic, a presentation, a poster, a, a drawing, okay? Today, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, you can either go here or we can click on create a graphic. Now, as you can tell, it pretty much puts you in a poster size, but it may change if you choose different things. Today, we are going to go off of a template. So this looks a lot like Canva um, in that all of your tools are over here to the left. You have templates, media, text, elements, grids, brands, and add-ons. We're gonna go through a few of those today. Let's start out by searching for a template. Um, I'm gonna pretend that I'm trying to uh, make a poster for a school dance coming up, okay? So I'm gonna type in school dance poster, there we go. And I notice a whole bunch of different templates that came up. Okay, so I can just kind of uh, decide which one I want to work on or which one I want to choose. You can go through them and see uh, what you think. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with, I'm going to go with prom night, but I know that it's not prom. It's just a school dance. Okay, so I want to show you how there's a whole bunch of things you can do to this template to change it. Let's go ahead and press the X right here to close this. So now that we have our template here, I want to show you <clears throat> how there's several different parts of this poster that can be changed. Right over here to the left, you'll notice when I click on one of these tiles, it'll show you what piece right there it's talking about, okay? First of all, there's the main image. If you click on the next tile, you'll notice right down here, that's this part of it. The next one shows that part of it and that part. You get it, right? Each of these is a piece of that poster that you can change, okay? Now, when you choose that piece, you can come over here and make any uh, of the changes you want. For example, let's say we click this one and it shows this red line, but we don't want it to be red. We want it to be black. You'll notice it changed it to black, okay? Uh, I'm going to undo that for now, Control Z. But so anyway, that's what these are. These are layers, okay? These are all pieces of that poster that can be modified. Now, I wanna take you over here to the left, okay? We already went to templates. If we go down to media, this is where you can add photos, videos, or music. Now, now we already have a photo in there, but maybe we wanted to uh, change the photo and we don't like this one of them dancing, right? What we're gonna have to do is come over here and find which it, which one it is of them dancing. Okay, I just clicked on it, and we can press the delete key, and they'll be gone. Okay, now over at media, I can search photos and say dancing, and you're going to come up with a whole bunch of them, okay? Um, you could be even more specific if you want and say dancing students, okay? But uh, it may take a few minutes to find. I'm going to go in and do dancing students. All right. And you'll notice that a whole bunch come up. Okay. There's, there's a bunch of things uh, there. You can go through a million of them. You can spend all day going through them. Okay. But let's say we like this one. Okay. We're going to go ahead and choose that one for now. Maybe this is an elementary school dance. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to grab this and, and crop it so that it's only those kids and we'll put it up here. We can resize by grabbing the corners, just like in other programs. Okay. To remove a background, all you do is click on the image and right over here to the left, look at the button that says remove background. 
and it magically does it for you. Sometimes it takes a few seconds. So there we go. Let's say we like that image. Okay. Now video, you're probably not going to need a video necessarily on a school poster, but if you were building a website or anything else, also audio, uh, there's a ton of audio stuff too. Okay. We're going to go down to text. Okay. Now text, you can come over here and you can decide, let's see this text, right? The, the one that says prom night, maybe, um, maybe we don't like it as much. Let's find the one that's prom night. There it is. Maybe we don't like that font as much. Over here, you can do anything you want to it. Okay, there's a bunch of things you can do. You can change it into a circle. Here's the default. You can change it into an arch or that. Uh, I mean, there's a bunch of things you can do. Color, thickness. Oh, you can mess with that. You can play with that. Fonts. You can decide on a different font. Okay, and you can do whatever you want with the text. So in order to, let's say that we don't want prom night. We don't want this to say prom night. We want it to say school dance, okay? Well, you'll notice that I can't click on it because when I click on it, it's just choosing the top images that, that's, a, that's in front of everything. So I'm going to have to come back down here and go to prom night. Now it chooses it, but when I double click on it, it still doesn't work, okay? Here's what you have to do. Let's go back down and choose prom night, and let's right click and say bring to the front, okay? You don't notice anything different, except you notice it's on top of the word celebration now. But now that it's on the front, you can double click. Once you bring it to the front, you can double click and make your changes. We'll say school dance, and that's way too big. So we'll just uh, choose it all, and we'll come over here and go way down, maybe to 600. And we can keep changing it until it's what we want. You can also use the plus and minus. So we just changed that. And let's say celebration we want to change. Well, again, we're going to have to come over here to celebration. Okay. And if you double click on it and it doesn't work, once again, you're going to have to go find celebration and right click and say bring to the front. Okay. Then you can double click and say something like, uh, see you there. Okay. And everything else can be changed, okay? You just have to remember that you got to go choose the part from over here, okay? And you'll have to bring it to the front, okay? Let's say you want to change the date, okay? Here it is, but we have to bring to the front, and then we can double-click and make any changes we want, all right? Uh, that's text. And now when we come down to elements, elements are different types of things. They're kind of design things, okay? There's different brushes that you can put in there, just little designs. Like if you press that, it puts that little brush there. I don't know. You, you can decide kind of what goes with all that. There's different elements if you go in here and see different things. There's frames, okay? You can press view all on any of these to see if there's anything you want to add to your creation. Remember, uh, under elements, you can also go to backgrounds. And there's a ton of backgrounds under shapes. Okay, there's shapes, there's icons. And of course, there's a search button for each of these if you want to search for something, okay, anything that you're looking for. All right. Also under text, there's search text, there's search buttons. Remember, you can search for anything, okay. When you're done with your design, all you do is click download right up here in the upper right hand corner. Uh, PNG is best for high quality, but since this is just a sample assignment, you want a smaller file size, you can just click JPEG, JPG, and click download. Once you have, it is in your computer downloads folder, and you will submit it in Canvas using the file upload tab. I hope you enjoy Adobe Express. Have fun designing and creating.